Uh, good morning, I'm Dave Ehlers. I'm the superintendent of Coloma Community Schools. First, I'd like to thank all our parents for your patience during this process. It's been a learning experience for us all. Uh, and you've been patient and allowed us to uh, figure it out as we've moved through the, this school shutdown. As you know, with Executive Order 2035 issued last week, Governor Whitmer suspended face-to-face -face learning for the remainder of the 2019-20 school year, for which us, it will end on June 10th. We've had some time to dig through the executive order, and here's what that means to Coloma Community Schools. This is a big picture view. You'll be getting uh, emails and more communication from your building principals with specifics related to your students' grade levels, but here's the big picture. Learning will continue and move forward for our students through a variety of methods. In grades pre-kindergarten through second grade, the work will primarily be completed via packets that our, that our staff will put together next week and get distributed the following week. New work will begin on April 20th for all students as the fourth marking period will start. In addition to coincide with that, we will open up power school next week so parents can see what's going on as our teaching staff closes out the third marking period. In grades three through 12, work will be available online and through Google Classroom and a variety of other platforms that the district uses, as well as paper packets made available for those with internet connectivity issues. All students, and I stress all students, will have to make progress and demonstrate an effort to learn to earn credit for, the, for their classes for this year. This is especially important to our high school seniors who may have interpreted Governor Whitmer's order to mean that school was done for them. You two seniors will have to demonstrate effort, commitment, and a little bit of knowledge on the fourth marking period material in order for you to earn your Coloma High School diploma or you'll have to come back during a summer school to complete your credits. A variety of staff members will be checking in with students periodically via phone, email, and Google Meet. We're doing this to check in on students and make sure everything is going fine as well as continue to provide our, our ancillary services such as special education and English learning services to our, our Spanish speaking students. We will continue to provide meals to our students on Mondays and Thursdays as we have throughout the entire outage. Um, all events, field trips, or other activities have been canceled. The exception to this is graduation, which we're going to leave on the calendar for, for its current date and look for an alternate date in early June should we have to reschedule it. But we have a very tight window at Columbia Community Schools because of the construction that's going to be done this summer on the high school roof and a parking lot to accomplish that. So stay tuned for more information from Mr. Churchill on that in the coming weeks. In addition, our building and facilities are closed to the public for the remainder of the year. That means the students shouldn't be on the playgrounds or on the tennis courts or playing on the softball fields, especially as long as the governor's stay-at-home order is in effect. We will, however, have our building vestibules set up as drop-off and pickup sites for student work for the remainder of the school year. Those, those will be open 24-7 beginning on April 20th, so parents can stop in at your convenience and pick up and drop off materials. There will be no state testing this year because of, the, the, of what the executive order said. The only exception to that will be our advanced placement students will, will take an online exam through the college board and they'll be notified of that through their email. Our juniors our current juniors will take the SAT college entrance exam in the fall as seniors and that will be provided here at school and we'll get more information to you when we know more about that. Since we are under a stay at home order and we expect that to be extended later on this afternoon at a press conference, our offices will continue to stay closed and our teachers will primarily work from home. We need to do this to protect the health and safety of our employees who are still, still trying to provide work and provide the work necessary for your students. While our offices are closed, email is the best way to reach out with a question or a concern. We have plenty of information on our webpage. We have an info at ccs.coloma.org email address that gets sent uh, into one person that's checked frequently and then distributed to those who can get you the correct answer. Um, moving forward, we feel we have submitted a sustainable education plan uh, and that looks after the needs of our students to the Berrien Risa and it reflects many of the things I've mentioned here today. When that plan is approved, it will be posted on our website and you feel free to take a look at it and ask any questions that you may have. Uh, we still have a few things to figure out. Among them are how do we provide refunds for those of you that prepaid trips? 
We're also working on how to pl a plan to return your students' belongings that were left behind when they left on the closure, as well as get the school's materials back, like textbooks and Chromebooks. So look for updates on these topics in the future from your building principals as we figure these items out. The social and emotional health of our students and our families is a top concern of ours moving forward. This is a stressful time and unique uh, in a lot of ways uh, and is probably providing some stress at home that people aren't used to. Please reach out to our social workers, our counselors, our building principals, or other trusted educators that you may have a relationship with should you need any help or assistance. We also have many resources that our school social workers and counselors have put together on our webpage to provide you with assistance in the county and the surrounding area. I would like to thank all our teachers, our support staff, and principals for their hard work in shifting education from face-to-face -to, -face to remote learning. This is not something we're trained or, or even really prepared to handle on a moment's notice, and they've done a tremendous job providing opportunities for our kids to stay engaged and will continue to provide opportunities for our students to grow educationally for the remainder of the school year. Finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our food service and our transportation staff for the hard work that they have done to provide thousands of meals to our students every Monday and Thursday throughout this break. They will continue to do that, and their hard work is appreciated, as I'm sure that provides a little bit of stability, a little bit of ease at home to help with some of the burden of the, sh of the uh, shutdown, as well as putting a little perspective on our students' lives where they get to see the school bus come by and a friendly face drop off some food. Again, I want to thank you for your continued support and our patience as we transition to our, our new learning environment. I want you to stay healthy, stay safe, and stay positive, and go Comets. Thank you.